So Lionsgate is coming on August 8th. That's just a couple of days, a few days away, okay? So the thing about um, um, Lionsgate is there's an alignment of particular planets and the, there's a certain energy that begins to happen. A lot of astrologists are also saying that the lion's gate is a number eight, which also brings us um, like luck, positivity, manifestation, okay? So when I track the energy of the lion's gate that will be happening on the eighth, it's actually started earlier. That'll be like the peak, okay? So the peak is on the eighth. So when you think about manifestation, when you think about um, good luck, you know, good things happening, uh, good vibes, things of that nature, it's like a window on the planet for everyone, really, that we can utilize and take advantage of the lion's gate for ourselves. So I would just encourage you to you know, really, really understand the energy of the 8th of August, lion's gate, is like a portal, you know, a portal of energy that's literally coming through, uh, through from the planets down to the earth itself, but it creates an opening and a vibrational frequency that allows for things to be more positive, more good, more exciting, okay? So taking advantage of Lionsgate, literally what that means is you wanna manifest something, okay? It doesn't matter what that is. You want to create more harmony. You want to create, you know, joy, happiness. You want relationship. You know, want a job or you want to move, whatever. So whatever that is that you want, that you want to create, what you want to do is get really clear. Because people, the thing is, is your subconscious is still dictating your reality. And if you get really clear, write it out, be specific. Like if you're looking for a relationship or you're looking for a job, you're looking for a house, get really clear on what you want. But more than that, how does it make you feel? So what you want to do is when you think about, okay, I'm gonna, I want a new job. I want a job that fulfills me in my passion, my aliveness. So let's just say I, I love cooking, okay? So I don't know what that looks like, but I just know I want to be cooking. I want to be offering my, my beautiful food, flavorful food to people. I have no idea what that looks like, but here's what I want. I want to be preparing food. I want to be cooking food. I want to feel appreciated. I want to feel joy, happiness. I want to feel excited. I want to feel like I'm doing what I love. And I hold that feeling. This is key. So whenever you're doing, I don't care if it's a job, I want a job, or if it's a relationship. Again, this is the time. And it, you know, it's like once a year, you get to do this. It's like, all right, let's take advantage of the lion's gate and get really clear. But as you're putting this out into the universe, what you want to do is Hold the good feelings. Like, let's just say, okay, I want to move. I want to move somewhere. I don't know where, okay? Leave in the area, sell my house, go who knows where. And rather than going into that unknown or that feeling like, oh, I just feel lost. Or I feel like I, you know, confused. I have no sense of, don't even worry about that part. Think about, all right, here's what I want. When I find, when I'm living in the house I love, that I really want, I feel lighthearted, I feel excited, I feel so grateful that I found the home of my dreams and I feel the sense of love and, and good feelings and I'm feeling like, yes, I've got really good luck, okay? So what I'm saying is we're gonna hold those frequencies, hold those positive energies within ourselves, okay? Now, if you're feeling, let's just say, for example, Okay, I'm looking for a house. I want to hold these positive feelings. Oh, wait a second. There's a grab in my belly. That's your subconscious, okay? So now what you want to do is, okay, I have a grab. That means I'm not believing something. Start, write it out, okay? Write it out, talk it out. Just get it so that you start to get a sense of what is that hold? Maybe it's a belief that I'm not going to get what I want. A acknowledge that belief, feel into that belief, and then let that belief go and come back to those wonderful positive feelings and the energy within, let it be good, let it feel happy, keep your heart open, okay? Because that's the key to manifesting and creating, it's all about the emotion. And again, if you understand about your subconscious and how your subconscious literally is creating your reality, then you know you can unravel some of the subconscious and still be able to create what you want, okay? So the lion's gate is coming, take advantage of it, Create what you want, but get really clear. And you can create 
many. You don't have to just do one thing. That's the, this consider it the day of manifestation, the day you're going to create what you want. Okay. So think about that. Think about everything. Why not? The energy is there. That's the thing. It's like the energy is just like this open, 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 ener big frequency energy that's going to co-create what you want. Okay. So again, you can have it all, whatever you want, have it all. Okay. You want a new home, you want a new relationship, or you want to deepen in your relationship. You want a job, you want to be doing what you want to be doing. You want money, whatever that is, make sure you're holding it, the thought of that and hold it like for money. What's it feel like if you had all the money you wanted? What does it feel like to be free, stress-free around money that you can just do what you want, buy what you want, have a life of your choosing because you're not you know, distraught around finances, you know, not limited. I can't do that. No. What's it feel like? Remember, bring that to the energy when you're, when you're really manifesting and creating your, your heart's desire. Make sure that as you're doing that, that you're literally holding those wonderful, good feelings as though it is already happening. And you know what it feels like, because on some level you do, and, and you are creating it. Okay. And then just let, then give it up Give it over to the lion's gate. All right, let's have fun with this. Okay, till next time.